guys, you're not going to believe me when I tell you, I am walking along the beach, beautiful day, and I've just come across a poor stranded beast. I've got to try and do a Brody Moss on him. Sorry Brody, apologies. Guys, I'm out walking on the beach, and I've just come across something that's just breaking my heart, and in true Brody fashion, I'm going to have to do something about it. Cop a load of this. I don't know if you can see this. It's a poor little orca torch. I think it's been washed ashore and it's upside down. I'm, go I I'm gonna have to try and roll him over. Oh, oh, oh. oh he's upside down. Oh, poor little orca torch. Damn you know, fella, I've got you. Say hello to Uncle D Stick. Let's return him to the ocean where he truly belongs. Come on, fella, let's go. Let's get you back in the water. Let's get you back in your true habitat. everyone thanks very much for all the subs likes and comments firstly I want to say thanks to Della from Orca Torch for sending me the D710 this torch has been a game changer for us the key things for me runtime we use the medium setting as it's such a really really good setting in all visibility situations that we've used it in and this is why I'm showing it off in this video with tannin colored brackish water it penetrates at this medium setting really well it lasts for three hours and 40 odd minutes it's nuts this torch is as tough as nails it's taken all the hits i've dished out to it plus more check out i've made a video it's a bit cheeky uh dilla sorry anyway uh, we had a bit of fun with it but it's a it's a very tough torch and very reliable the size it's perfect. It outperforms all my other torches, five times the size. It travels well, it packs well, and the quality of this product is understated. Like I've been using and abusing it for the last 18 months. I'm saying it's good, well, because it doesn't break. <laughs> that's, that's, that's it in a nutshell. So there you go, value for money, fit for purpose, does more than it's promised. The last thing for me is the Orca Torch support. The crew um, that produces this product stands behind their product and they'll help you when you need it which is really important it's good old-fashioned customer service no arguments sort you out it's hard to find these days and it's damn impressive and if you're wondering why i've made three videos on a, on a torch well Della and the team asked me to review their product honestly and there's no strings attached there was no you need to make a video our way there was no pressure and honestly the first video i made i never told Della about it i was just having fun and i was having lots of fun amusing myself and she found out about it much to my shock and as i never told her about it and she asked me to put a link into the description so people could find the tool and that, that was it she was so good about it the second video that I made I did so to have a bit of fun but also share the facts about the torch how good the torch is and in my own fun way just to educate people on what this what this torch does and this video is to show how good the torch is and how it works in crap visibility low light and what it's like compared to other torches which you can see in the video I, um, and these are torches I normally dive with and I've got uh, O stick 2 and G stick 3 using them in the in the video so you can see how much output this torch has 
compared to the other torches that I use. I, I can honestly say it blew the other torches away. So then I made a, a video after the second video about me abusing the torch a little bit, uh, doing things that it was not engineered or supposed to do. I did this because I was generally surprised at how tough the, the little torch was and what it could put up with. So for a torch that is designed to be used underwater in a cool environment, I've not been able to make it cook because it's got these temperature controls on it. I haven't chipped it or broken it so far. And to be fair, I've given it heaps and it keeps coming back for more so right now my honest honestly my biggest fear about this torch is I might lose it or someone will flog it I've actually become quite attached to it and it would probably break my heart if I lost it so this is an honest opinion and appraisal of the torch and I've also spoken to others uh, who are using the torch and people out there in different parts of the world different climates that sort of thing and they're all saying the same thing so uh, just don't take my word for it there's plenty of other people out there that actually recognize quality when they see it so if you do need a torch this is the one I would recommend you buy it's not cheap it's not expensive but it's fair value and to be honest with you it's, you buy once and you'll have no regrets
everybody else, right? 